Okay, this is our audition tape. I'm Dimitri Plax. I'm John Kelly. And I'm Josh Pritt. And we're here with the Makers Local 256. Magnificent. Makers Local is a hacker space where people come together to work on projects, share ideas, and it's easily the coolest place within 12 zip codes of here. So uh, to kick off, we're going to give you a quick tour of our shop. The shop is divided into a couple sections, which include the lobby, the office, food lab, the electronics lab, the laser cutter and 3D printing lab, the tool lab, member storage, the art and chemistry lab, the storage lab, the library and learning lab, and the AV and music lab. I am Dimitri Plax. Uh, uh, we'll start with, I'm 27 years old. Uh, I have a bachelor's in physics and bachelor's and a master's in aerospace engineering. And yes, I am a rocket scientist. My specialty in grad school was uh, combustion, so I like to set things on fire. Uh, I work uh, for a very large corporation. Uh, I'm an engineer there, a systems engineer, uh, and I get to do a plethora of different tasks. Uh, some of the past projects I worked on, I uh, made an experiment to go out into uh, zero-g. It was actually flown by NASA. Uh, the experiment focused on uh, putting out a, uh, extinguishing a fire in zero gravity using nothing but sound waves. Really cool project, uh, got a really, uh, a lot of build experience out of it. Uh, and uh, the entire experiment was completely automated and hands off and all I had to do to start it was just push a button and then the computer and uh, the code took uh, care of the rest of it. I worked in a high voltage lab before. I know how my way around really dangerous stuff, and that, that'll kill you. Kids, don't do that at home. Some of the stuff that I work on right now is um, rocketry. I build my own rockets. In fact, I just flew one today. It was an eight foot rocket, went to about 5,000 feet, came back, and uh, uh, worked no problem. Uh, uh, some of my other random skills uh, just general machining and designing, mechanical design, electrical design. Uh, Plumbing, uh, pressurized systems, vacuum systems, uh, welding, soldering, and coding, and C, C++, MATLAB, LabVIEW, that kind of stuff. So that that's pretty much all for me. John? Okay. Hi, my name is John Kelly. I'm 25. I graduated from University of Knoxville, Tennessee with a degree in electrical engineering and one in computer engineering. Uh, I'm a software programmer by trade, but I do a lot of mechanical and electrical and physics and math stuff in my spare time, like mostly a lot of that. Uh, Arduino microcontrollers, uh, a couple classes in robotics. Actually, seeing one of the Andros uh, bomb disposal robots uh, my senior year of high school was what inspired me to get a computer and electrical degrees, because uh, I was like, oh my god, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Random professor standing there. What must I study to build these? Why, young man, that's some mechanical and electrical and a little bit of computer. I was like, I'll do two of the three. Ah, ah, ah. So anyways, that's, uh, that's how I wound up with those. Uh, and then putzing around here, um, I've only been here about six months, so not quite as long as some of the other people, but this is quite easily the coolest place I've ever been in my life. Like literally the first time I walked in, I made that little squee noise that 12 year old girls make the first time I see Twilight. And it's like, yeah! uh, There's a laser cutter in the other room that I've spent, oh God, like, four solid weeks worth of afternoons playing with and perfecting. Uh, put a bunch of that information up on the wiki page so other people can use it. Made a, I think a couple giraffes and a bunch of like paper cut things. I figured out how to cut paper with it so you can fold it into any shape. Uh, let's see, I've been doing that. I've been working on trying to build my own freeze drying machine out of like random automotive parts from Harbor Freight. And uh, I think I'm using a uh, air tank from like a compressed air like holding tank. I'm gonna use that as a vacuum chamber. So here's hoping it doesn't implode. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't. Like the math works out well. But my name is Josh Pritt. Um, I'm 31 and my day job I uh, build geographic information system software for utility companies. Basically Google Maps for uh, the wires and the pipes and the poles and transformers so they can monitor their system and trace and uh, restore after a, a storm or power outage um, and I've been a member here at Makers Local 256 since November and uh, I've been helping out with various projects I'm basically a, a third hand for some of these other I've helped uh, Dimitri launch the rocket uh, a couple weeks ago uh, 
I help John with the lasers sometimes. Uh, I especially like the, his uh, planetary gears that he made out of. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, plexiglass. Acrylic, yeah. Acrylic. Acrylic, acrylic glass. Yeah. It was very perfect. Uh, that laser is very precise. <laughs> and uh, I've been spending a lot of time recently in the wood shop building uh, this wooden sword prop for uh, one of my costumes for Dragon Con. <laughs> um, so we have a. Uh, uh, an endless supply of nerdiness here, if, uh, <laughs> if that's what you're into. Uh, nerd level. People there's a lot of, a lot of nerd. It's over 9,000. Nerd, nerd juice. I'm a software guy, you know, from uh, graduated from Jacksonville State University, Jacksonville, Alabama, with a bachelor in computer science. So I'm a software guy. I've helped with uh, some of the software here. Uh, like uh, we have a arcade cabinet where we put a computer and a keyboard for visitors to come and sign a guest book. So I loaded that up and I added an option. Uh, using PHP language to uh, uh, actually have a checkbox where they can put in their email address and sign up on our mailing list if they so choose. So that's uh, some of the things I've done here. Uh, so uh, how it's going to land? Uh, we're just going to launch it and let it land, or we're going to cushion it with airbags uh, like the Mars rover? Well, we, we can go with the airbags, we can go with a parachute, you know, it depends we, on the budget, depends on the time, right? Yeah. See that. So we can go with a giant, like, glider. Oh, or, can get from a hang glider? Or like <laughs> a giant frisbee, like we can do like a giant, like a, like a huge skeet shooting kind of machine. Where we pull! Put the, yeah, we put the laptop in the middle of the frisbee and pull! Because then like the downward frisbee. velocity is low enough that it'll like, hit and skip, but it won't okay. crash into the ground. Got to make sure Ideally. we get the, the gyroscopic effect has to be there to well, balance that's, it. Yeah, that's why when you like when you want. shoot it, it'll do right. that. Like as you shoot it, like the arm will whoosh, and like it'll add that rotational motion to it as you're no extra parts it. required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like thing. a nice like ball, and then we we'll get the shotgun. So and, like, it basically you know. rolls off. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Yeah, oh, or you know, just stick it on a rocket and launch it that way. Yeah, but what that would get us like. 5,000 yards, not like, you know, we get on the other side of the football field in the next county over, which maybe bonus points, maybe just more like, uh, What if we put it through the goalposts? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Goal! Goal! Anyways, no time for that. That's soccer. <laughs> I like the airbag idea, you know, it uh, it has a lot of good goodness with it. With the parachute, you know, the, the big risk is maybe it won't open. Yep. So, uh, and how hard is it going to land? And how hard, exactly. If a laptop hits so hard, will that hurt it? Like, what's yeah. the limit yeah. on? Does it have to be on? You know, are we doing something oh, yeah. with it during the launch? Do we have to yes. worry about the hard drive actually crashing? Yeah, that's right. That's right. right. We, yeah. solid we could go solid. We get a netbook. That's technically a laptop. Depends on if they're giving us the laptop or not. So that, that's right. Because yeah. yeah. we have a you know a whole t uh, you know plethora of test subjects upstairs. <laughs> yeah. but we, we can crash ten or twenty of them. Yeah. And, you know, still be okay. <laughs> Poor laptop. Yeah. yeah. But I still like the giant frisbee idea too, though, because. Then you can like make it out of foam, so if it hits, whenever it hits something, the actual mm -hmm. body of the frisbee will be like a big round disc that can okay. absorb the energy. Yeah. So, so even if even if it goes up and like like nails into the ground at like forty five degrees, you're still gonna be crushing foam and and like yeah, give it a that's a good idea. Then you don't like need, car bumpers. Then you yeah, don't yeah. need parachute. Then you don't need yeah, airbags. Yeah. So Plus, it's a really simple. easy aerodynamic yep. shape to make. It's a lot easier to do than like a like a standard yeah. like winged glider or something. You just we can get a. <laughs> in fact, we can just get a really big guy to frisbee it the whole way across. Yeah, and, in styrofoam. Actually, yeah, if it's styrofoam, we can just like, <laughs> you know, like a. Like Take a, turns what, what do you call it? it? What's that Olympic thing with the big ball? You go, That's the hammer throw. Yeah, the hammer okay. throw. Pretty much like or the discus. Or the discus. discus. The discus. You're thinking That's the discus. That's what I'm looking for. Discus. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where they hold it backwards. <laughs> yeah. We'll make a mechanical discus throwing robot. <laughs> it's like. That sounds like over-engineering. No. Keep it simple. But over-engineering would be retro rockets. Yes. <laughs> or a sky crane. Yes. <laughs> Lowered on a winch. No, no. Quadcopters. Yes. We Autonomous quadcopters. Hey, hey. We already we'll have, have one here. Yeah, we have the quadcopters. <laughs> we just need a little bit more lift. Yeah, that could work. Bit, like a giant helicopter-sized quadcopter. Several batteries. <laughs> Motor strong enough to cut off a man's hand. Somebody at the pull star. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that should work. Laptop of doom. The laptop of death. It, clear it, the area. it goes sideways into the stands. You see cameramen running everywhere. Oh god! Oh god! What this is horrible. horrible. Why? Who did this, this is a terrible idea. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> laptop of doom. Laptop of doom. All right. Good. Time to brainstorm. John, calm what? down. What about? Yeah, calm down. I'm calm. No, you're not.
Well, not probably yet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> my nails! I'm like rubbing all on you. you. Like, no, I've been wanting you to do that for months. You're going to be bent over that. In there. Cut. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Slow the fuck up. Yes! Nick, 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 Nick. You got it. Yeah, we've been rolling for about five minutes, by the way. We got a lift. The light's not on. Yeah, it is.